this video tutorial we will take a closer look at this nice switch to get familiar with Angular's host binding and host listener. The switch already looks great and it's working, so project can use it. But imagine they want to test the switch. Imagine they want to test if the switch is checked or not. This is currently quite hard because we don't reflect any state and it's hard for the consumer to access the state of the switch. So how could we easily tell the consumer if the switch is checked or not? So when working with native checkbox, we have the checked attribute that tells us if a checkbox is checked or not. So if we add check to the native input, our checkbox will be checked. So what if we do the exact same, but instead of adding this checked attribute here on our input, we reflect it to the host. So let's first start by adding a state. So we added this checked false state because we start with an unchecked switch. To update our state, of course, we have to add the click handler to our round slider. So every time we click on the round slider, we want to toggle our state. And of course, we have to implement the toggle check method. So far, so good. So every time we click on the circle, our state gets updated. But at this point, we didn't reflect any state to the host. So what we want to do, we want to reflect this checked attribute to our host. So we can use at host binding in front of our state property. And then we can simply specify how we want to reflect it to our host. So in our case, we want to add a checked, checked attribute. So let's open up the dev tool. We can now see that my switch contains a checked attribute, which is set to false. And as soon as we click on the rounded circle, our switch is checked and this gets also reflected back to the host and the checked attribute becomes true. So a consumer of our switch component could now write a test, get a hold of the, of the my switch component and assert the checked attribute. So host binding allows you to bind any kind of attribute back to the host. So now we have a nice my switch component where the checked attribute gets reflected to the host. So we are not done yet. There is still one open issue. The issue is that our switch component can not only be toggled by clicking on the rounded circle, it can also be toggled by using the spacebar. So whenever we click the spacebar, our switch component toggles. Maybe you already spotted the issue. Whenever we toggle our switch with the spacebar, it seems like it works, but internally our state never gets updated. So if you take a close look here on this checked attribute, and if I toggle it with click, it gets updated, but as soon as I use the spacebar, the checked attribute doesn't change. And that's because we don't update our internal state. So now, how do we do that? Well, we use the other nice feature of Angular, host listener. So we used host binding to bind something to the host. And as host listener says, we use host listener to something that happens on the host. So in our case, we want to listen to the spacebar key press. So let's add a host listener that listens to key down space. And whenever this happens, we want to call a handle, handle space key function that then internally calls this dot toggle check. So now whenever we press the spacebar, the toggle check is called and you can see that the checked attribute gets updated the same way it gets updated with a click. Host binding and host listeners are two very powerful Angular features. Use host binding to bind something to the host. It can be a class or an attribute and use host listener to react on something that happens on the host, which can be key event, click events, move in, move out, any kind of events. If you like this video and you want to get more content about modern front-end development and especially Angular, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter at KreuzerCode. See you next time.